Hello and welcome back to another character creation video. My name's Lumen and today we're jumping in to World of Warcraft Dragonflight to create and customize a Drakthir. And I'm excited. I've jumped in to have a quick peek at the options available. And I think this is probably the best Blizzard's ever done. It blows the others out of the water with the amount of customization options available, the cool stuff you can change, and all the rest. So in this video, we're going to have a quick look at the Drakthir race, what they're all about, the class, what it's all about, and then we'll jump in to customize the Drakthir form. That's the one you see right here in front of you. It's the same for male and female. So you get to change your visage form between male and female, as you can see over here. But the Drakthir form, all the options on that, they're the same. They're the same on your male character. They're the same on your female character. You're making a dragon here. Okay, that's that. So we're going to customize that. Then we'll customize the male visage form. Uh customize the female visage form and then after each of those we'll also do a randomize so we'll just have a look at all the options available all the cool stuff that you could potentially come up with it's gonna be fun it's gonna be really cool so join me as i always say at the start of these videos check the timestamps below you'll find all you need there you can find the different parts of the video that you want to see and you can leave satisfied so all i ask check those timestamps it's all there now we're going to jump in and quickly have a look at the Drakthir. And I'm going to say right here at the start, as I'll probably say a bunch of times in this video, Drakthir can only be evokers. Evokers can only be Drakthir. That's it. They're locked. There's a chance in the future that that could change. There's a chance that sometime in the future, other classes could be Drakthir. Or other races could be evoker. I wouldn't put money on it. But there's always a chance, right? Just want to put that out there. Because that's probably one of the questions I'll get a lot. So, the Drakthir. They're infused with the magic of the dragon flights. The Drakthir combine the resourcefulness of mortals with the power of dragons. Racial traits. They can use their wings to glide through the air and soar from high places. I'm going to add to that quickly. That they actually have an ability that like shoots them straight up into the air. And then you can glide from that point pretty fast. It's a really cool move. It's not exactly like the Demon Hunters one. It's a little different. Uh, you get to fully explore a continent to increase your maximum soaring speed. You can knock enemies away with your wings and tail. You have increased mastery. And you find additional rare reagents when gathering. Then another thing that's not here is they actually have empowered spells. Uh, that's part of the evoker here. Which is kind of cool. Uh, you get to sort of hold down the spell button to charge it up and use a empowered version of it and with that said let's jump onto the evoker quickly and talk about that for a moment evokers are a hero class which means they start at level 58 much like death knights do they have their own starting area as well it is called the forbidden reach and you can only make one of these per realm so much the same as the death knight in most ways they say here they're a hero class, which means they start at a higher level. Evokers are innate casters who unleash devastating draconic spells on enemies or healing magic for allies. And that said, they can be a healer or DPS. Apparently the ranged damage bit there, it's a little up in the air because a lot of the abilities actually need you to be close. So it's sort of like a hybrid damage dealer where they ranged but melee as well. They have two different forms, as I mentioned before, the Drakthir form and the Visage form. And the way that works is some abilities can actually be cast while you're in the visage form. Some combat can actually be done while you're in the visage form, in the human form. But most of the big abilities and stuff will transform you automatically into the dragon form. And you'll have to fight like that. They use mail as their armor. They can use intellect daggers, fist weapons, axes, maces, swords, and staves. The two specializations that I mentioned before are devastation, that's the DPS one, and preservation, that's the healing one. And they can obviously be both Alliance and Horde. You pick that right here. You can't change it afterwards, obviously. And that, my friends, is that. We're going to jump into the customization now. The good stuff now. So, let's get this started. First things first, the names. I like to usually have a look at this. Because, as you can see here... Blizzard generally tend to try and give you... This one looks like Tuglatel. <laughs> they try and give you law-friendly names. And it's kind of cool. It's something that 
you know, people don't often talk about. It's like, you know, when you jump in here, you're sure you can like spend an hour and a half or two hours customizing your character, but then what happens when you want to click finish, but it says, oh no, you don't have a name inputted. And then you can't think of one for the life of you. Well, then you can randomize. And what's kind of cool about it is you don't need to use the name that they give you. You could just use a variation of it. Uh, and then you can know that it's, you know, at least close to being law friendly. Anyway, there you go. That's a quick look at some of the names. Now, we're going to jump into the actual customization. I'm going to say here that some of the options are a little sort of mixed up in terms of their placement. As an example, the tail, you only customize that like way at the end. And then some of the other stuff, like the markings and stuff, they can obviously change the way the colors are that you pick here. So just keep in mind that you got to really mix and match the options to make them pop, to make them stand out. Uh, some of them look a little better combined with certain others and vice versa but let's have a look at the body sizes quickly i'm going to say once again here because uh, you might not have heard it at the start or you might have used the timestamp to get here male and female both have the same body types here male and female on the drag theory model are the same so you know you're not going to have a bigger bust here you're not going to have a bigger butt and bigger thighs or something like on that on the female one no you've got the male and female they're all bundled up into one here and this is it this is what you're creating that form over there that'll be different so you can skip to that in the timestamps if you'd like i like the variation in the body sizes the one thing i will say that i would have liked to have seen in this is i would have liked it if you could have switched things around a bit by changing like your posture or make yourself look sort of more humanoid or more wild or feral maybe that's the one thing I would have liked to have seen sort of like how you can make the trolls stand up straight or, or or hunched over that kind of thing i don't know how it would work with this you know uh, i'm not the one who designed this race but that would have been cool to see so body sizes yeah you can sort of bulk yourself up i think the big one looks nice so we're going to stick with that it also shows the colors off a little more because there's you know more real estate now let's have a look at those colors keep in mind as i said the different patterns and stuff like that that you can put on here they obviously play a part in the way your track theory looks but we can still look at the colors i like the colors here by the way so like i've, I've had a quick look at everything uh, and the vibrancy the shades that they give you access to here it's all definitely sort of inspired by what we've seen in the warcraft universe thus far and i think that most of this basically just shows that they made these thinking about the entire history of world of warcraft and they they added a lot of these options with a lot of that in mind uh, and, and you'll see it as we go through here a lot of these just they look fantastic and they fit and you think to yourself oh my god yeah you know i could really make myself into one of these members of one of these dragon flights that i love and appreciate so much because you know some people are actually really big into the world of warcraft lore and you could definitely sort of try and create and customize your character to to fit into one of those niches and that's amazing to me so here we have a look at the secondary color strength right so the secondary colors over here i'm going to leave it on a bright one that sort of contrasts with the primary color and then you can see that you can set the strength and that's basically just how much of it you see or how little of it you see you can take it off completely i like that because then obviously this changes again entirely you you can sort of have a a, <laughs> a solid color all the way through uh, and and that's fantastic you know you, you can do sort of a lot with it let's go with a blue on the primary color something like this like like a frost drake or something uh, and then we'll we'll turn the secondary color strength up and then we have a look at the colors that are available here they also clearly made these as complementary colors which i love Every single one of these looks like it could potentially work quite well with the primary color, you know? Yeah, I mean, you have some contrast when you look at, like, the reds and stuff on here, but, like, all these other ones just look like they're so cool. Like, the warmer colors, they even, even these ones work. Even these ones work, right? I like it. It's like someone went around in World of Warcraft and checked all the dragon chests out to see what colors they had. <laughs> Or looked at all the wing webbins or something. Let's let's go to let's put like a lighter color on here. Let's go for that one. I think it's kind of nice, right? Okay. 
body pattern. So the way this works is you go all the way through and it just adds more of the pattern to it as you go over it. And you can see there on the back as well. I like it. It's like you put in an extra texture on top of your scales. It's kind of nice. I'm going to keep it off for now though. So you can see all the other stuff, the markings and stuff like that. It's another different one. Sort of like stripes. This is on the legs and on the tail. It's on the chest. And that's on both. It's cool. It's cool. And, and you can obviously add both of these. It looks a little weird and sort of cluttered, but you can. You can. Uh, and then the markings color. So let's pick the full body one and let's have a look at it. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. It's on the face as well. So I say a lot of these options... You don't realize how much it's changing until you get a little further into the character creation and customization. These are slightly darker colors, as you can see here. No whites here. No, no bright colors on the markings. But yeah, they look okay. They look alright. Chest spikes don't seem to work currently. I don't know what's going on with that, but I imagine they look the same as the leg spikes. Hold up. I came back later, and chest spikes were in fact working. So, they look like this. Not quite the same as the ones on the legs, but they're still pretty cool. I think it adds a little bit of extra sort of detail where there was none. I feel like if you don't add stuff to the neck, and you don't put armor on the chest, it can look a little bare. It looks pretty much the same on all the body sizes. But, yeah, I mean, at least they're working. And they look alright. They look alright. Okay, carry on. So, you can put spikes on the legs. They are, I want to say, slightly more subtle versions of the spikes. You will see what I mean when I start adding spikes to, like, the, well, I wanted to say the neck and the back and the tail. And you start customizing uh, things on the rest of your character. They all pop out a little bit more. This is sort of like an extra here. I'm imagining that they're going to look similar, right? They don't seem to be working. I don't know if they are going to be working at some point in the future. I don't know, man. But right now, they don't do anything. Okay, I've, I've looked on every single different type and every single different style, and they don't seem to work. So, next menu. Looks like we're going for the face now. See, this is what I mean by it jumps around a little bit, because you actually get more body stuff later here. Uh, but let's do the face. There's a lot of really cool stuff here. Horns. You can actually go with no horns, by the way, which... I don't, I don't know. I appreciate the option, but it looks a little weird. Alright, so. Swept. Sleek. Coiled. Ridged. Sickle. Plated. Thorns. Curled. Curved. Hook. Bolt. You know, I appreciate the fact that they have so many different types of horns. That makes me think that the art team basically scoured the world to find everything that has horns. Like, they went out there, man. They checked all the dragons out. They checked all the goats out. They checked everything with a horn. And they, they basically threw it in here as an option. You know, they went through all their different IPs. You know, they got some Diablo horns in here. Of course, of course, of course. And, uh... I, I think it's amazing because, like, they have such a massive selection. Who'd have thought you could have 20 different types of horns? It's crazy. It's crazy. I really like the broken one, uh, but because of the horn color and because of, you know, wanting to see it properly, let's take something nice and big to show it off. Doesn't really matter which one. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the... Let's take this one of the goat horns. The horn colors are amazing. I love the two-toned colors. So this one, as you can see here, is two-toned with a darker tint at the top and like a little warmer at the bottom here. But you will see, as we progress here, there are some really cool colors. Look at this. Like poison horns or something. And these ones? Those are the frosty horns. That's sick. And it's funny that they actually have it in the opposite way that you'd expect, right? You'd more often than not expect the darker part to be at the bottom, but when they have the darker part at the top, it actually looks better. 
Okay, I imagine if it was inverted, it wouldn't look that good. Like this, for instance. It looks good in this, but like, for instance, that blue one might not have looked as good. Man. Kind of cool. I'm going to go for the frosty horns. Just because. Apparently, we're going for a frost dragon. Horn jewelry. Here we go. It's a god. Bands. The bands go all the way up to the top. Some chains. And that's it. And you get to actually change the color on them as well. Oh, that is sick. That's really cool. Yeah. Very nice. I'm not a huge fan of stuff like jewelry on my horns. Uh, not that I have horns to put jewelry on. But I like going for like the more simplistic stuff. So the crest is is this here, I think. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to put some fins on there. And I love it, by the way. Once again, they're giving you options to basically... These are fins. You can make like a water dragon. As you can see, the ears and, and the chin sort of looks like fins. You can make yourself into a water dragon. You can make yourself into a damn rhinoceros. Into a billy goat with a little gruff on his chin, you know. You can do so many different things with this customization. Uh, it, it's, it's fantastic that you can do things like create a bone dragon because they give you those colors and those options. Uh, you can make yourself one of the black dragon flight, look more intimidating with the darker colors and the sharper edges everywhere. There's so much, you know? You can make yourself into uh, maybe uh, the first member of the murloc dragon flight, you know? <laughs> you, can, you can do that. You can be a trailblazer where that's concerned. But I love it. Again, it's, it's kind of sick. I feel like if they would put this kind of effort into the rest of the game, we would be playing the best MMO that's ever existed. And we'd all be playing it. You know? Check there. This one's actually called Bone. You see? Look at that! Amazing! It's like a dragon mullet. See? Wow. It's innovation. That's what innovation looks like. Let's go for just regular spikes, right? I dig it. Okay, moving on to the face. So, the faces, there are currently only three that you can choose from. I'm pretty sure this is what you're going to get for launch. But it, it, it basically just changes the... I don't even know what to call it <laughs> right here. It's like it changes the contouring, right? So, you can see on this face, I, I think that's the right way of saying it. It's like you've got the, the, the lines coming down here and around the top. And if you bring this one in, it's it's got a slightly... I mean, that's not the cheek. It's like a slightly gaunter nose, right? It's a little bit more gaunt here. And when you go for the last one, it's sort of smooth all the way across, right? So you can see this one has like a, a stubby nose. This one has like a, a gaunt nose cheek. <laughs> and this one is smooth. Let's go for the smooth one, right? Let's go for the smooth one. And the thing here is that you have to use all of these, right? You have to use the face, the snout, and then the patterns and the markings, and I suppose the eye styles as well, to try and make the dragon look the way you want it to look. If you want it to look like a feminine dragon, that's how you're going to do it. Masculine dragon, that's how you're going to do it. Murloc dragon, that's how you go about it. These are important, because you need to combine them, mix and match them, to make what you want. Oh, I love it, dude. A long boy snoot. Man. Makes me think of those, they're called Borzois, right? Those dogs with the super long snooties. Oh. <laughs> oh, and there's one that looks more like a beak. I dig that. They call it ancient, so it's more like an ancient dragon snout. Regal. Regal, it's interesting. There's probably so much thought that goes into all of this. And it's something that you, when you create in your character, you'll just like bam, 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 through it. Boom, 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 select what you want. And you wouldn't pay attention to the fact that Regal is much more angular you know you can look there like the 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 ancient one yeah it's ancient it's got these like extra bits and pieces here it's sort of more a wild looking dragon then you come to regal and it's all straight lots of straight lines angular features i love it i'm sorry i'm talking too much about this there's horn that's basically like a rhino see you can be a rhino dragon stone dragon guardian Raptor, yeah, these guys watch Jurassic Park, Primal, oh, there's the Rhino, oh, fantastic, yeah, Serpent, all right, all right, oh, yeah, got a 
bit of an overbite there. I actually kind of like that. The Basilisk one. Shimada. Get a little goatee here. Why not? Why not? That'll go well with your billy goat horns, right? Mmm. Got the barbed. I should go with the barbed one so we can get some spikes here. Basically, I'm going to go for as many spikes as I can get. I'm just going to put spikes everywhere. So, face markings. Okay, so somehow I managed to miss the face pattern. I went through the entire thing, and I didn't even realize when I randomized later, and when you randomize, you can get a good look at how many, you know, different variations there are, but I didn't even realize that the face pattern, the option, it was just invisible to me. I have no idea how that happened, but hey, I'm here to rectify that. I'm here to show you that you can actually remove all the markings. We have Sear, Singe, Scorch, Smolder. Smolder is actually pretty cool, but it's actually a pretty big deal. Uh, so I'm adding this in here now because this changes completely the way it looks. And again, you'll see later when we randomize that you can do so much more when you can remove all the markings because with the solid color, honestly, it's much easier to stick with the theme because those markings are, or at least were in the case of, of my model that I was using, darker right so if you look at the pattern there it it sort of just kills the whole look if you're going for something bright because it adds something dark there so now if i take it off and i jump through these different colors it's so much more vibrant honestly you can make so much cooler stuff i i am so thoroughly impressed by all of this i love it uh, so just keep in mind that that is a thing and lumen of the past was so giddy and uh, so excited to jump through all this stuff that you didn't even see this option. So yeah, know that there's a, a, a whole lot of cool stuff that you can do. It's nice. It's nice. So I'm going to let Ignorant Lumen continue his little character creation sermon. And you guys can just keep uh, watching and listening. Knowing that there is in fact an option to remove this. It's kind of cool. Actually, this one just goes down onto the shoulders as well. Looks nice. And and obviously around on the back, on the neck. It's cool. Yeah. Okay. So, continue. This one's called Truth, Myth, Oath, Wrath. You're basically just getting more. You put them all on or put none of them on. Eyesight. You get to pick whether the eyes are clouded over, left, right, or both. We're going to look at the eyes themselves because there are actually some really, really nice colors here. So first things first, I'm going to show you the styles of the eyes. You get to have a slit, you get to have a cross, or you get to have glow. And I want to point out how impactful this actually is. Look when I zoom all the way out. Look how brightly those eyes shine when it's on glow. As an example, you can see it from all the way out here. And it, and it looks so, so cool. I love it, man. It's fantastic. It's bright. And it's again actually just basically highlighting the fact that they had fantastic uh, color choices here. Like, you, you basically, they, they, they went about it in the correct way where they gave you all these fantastic complementary colors that just seemed to work well with anything dragon related. It's like they went with the um, eyedropper tool uh, through every single dragon area in the game and just stole the colors. They yoinked every single good color. Like these greens. It's like, yeah, man. Jesus, what am I walking through the Emerald Dream right now? Feels like it. God, ooh, it's getting a little chilly here. <laughs> Is that the Azure Dragon Flight? You know? It's, it's like, and then the, then the violet that they have and like the pink here. It's like, man, yeah, arcane magic. Hell yes. I'm sorry. I love it. I love it. We can actually go for like a frosty eye as well. Uh, actually, no, let's go for a contrast. Let's do red eyes. I, I personally like glow the most, but these ones also have their place. Also, they look good. They look good. They look good. Next up. Next up. The ears. You can actually take the ears off. So, you can take everything off, and you can make your dragon look like an actual snake. I'm not even joking. It, it, it's fantastic. I, I was showing you, just like, as we went through here, you can take horns off. You can take the spikes off. You can take everything off. And, and, and it's not even something that'll look ridiculous. It'll look damn cool. I'm serious when I say that. It'll look damn cool. 
So, what you're doing here with ears is you can pick a whole lot of different stuff that once again changes the mood, the look and feel of your dragon entirely. I'm telling you right now, if I had to make a character here and I had to actually make one for keeps, I would spend so much time in here. I'm, 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 geez, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I would never be able to settle on anything because there are so many different styles you could go for. You just think back on like the history of Warcraft. Oh, or don't, or don't. That's a dangerous, slippery slope. I'm going to go for the Longhorns. That looks sick. And it, it obviously adopts the color of your, of your main horns. Look at those spikes, dude. Thorns, fin, bone. Ooh, okay, let's go for thorns. And then cheekbone. Even more. Like I said, we're just going to put as many as we can on there. As many as we can. Oh, that's sick. Oh, man. Yeah, dude. Oof, look at that. Okay, throat. That's down here. Oh. Oh, my God. That looks like the... Spikes are actually inside the throat, poking through. Ooh, let's take these ones. There we go. See again, fantastic options. That's so cool. Now, we're actually moving on to the armor that they're going to be wearing. But what I want to do before I start on the armor section is I want to go to the end here and I want to show you the tail. I, I really feel like the tail should have been here somewhere. It shouldn't be with the armor. But basically the tail is the final option that you change in of the Drakthir itself, right? So all this other stuff is armor stuff, and at the end here you get the tail, right? So that's currently a bear tail, and and nothing on it. So if we switch through, curtailed, flail, you can see the tip has changed there. There's a fin, there's a heart, the club looks fantastic, a diamond. Very sharp looking. A spade. And that's the end. I mean, I like all of these. Uh, I think I'm going to go for the flail. And then, uh, on the tail ridge, you get to put either the fin or the spikes. Alright? So, I just wanted to show that off quickly before we jumped into the armor. Uh, because it's not really armor. It's sort of separate from that. Alright? I feel like tail thickness would have been nice as well. Or proper tail length. But, hey, uh, it's fine. I'm not about to complain about that. Um... Was there an option to remove this on the head? I wonder. Yes, yes, Lumen, there was an option. And you missed it. You just clicked straight past it. Yeah, it's right there. It's called the uh, face pattern. <laughs> Come on, guy. It's right there. You can remove it, and it looks awesome. I showed this off earlier in the video, but like for real, you can make some seriously cool visual styles by removing that and having the uh, dragon look, you know, sleek. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. So pay no heed to Lumen of the past. Dude was clueless. Carry on. If I if I put like a bluer one on here, uh, then it looks sort of more natural. I, I feel. There you go. See? All right. I mean, the, the lighter one probably looks even nicer. Here we go. So now we're going to move on to the armor. And I want to talk about the armor for a quick moment before I customize it. The way this works is you get to actually pick a set of armor that goes on your drag fear. And this is a heavily curated list of armor in that you can't just put any old armor from the game on this model, right? It's a funny looking model. It's a weird shape and it's got lots of bits and pieces protruding from it. And yeah, like... It's, it's it's not normal. It's not super straightforward humanoid stuff. It's not using one of the existing bodies. So, they allow you to equip yourself with these pieces of armor, and they allow you to at any point customize this at the barber shop. Alright? So, at the moment, as it stands right now, your shoulder pads and, like, your belt, as far as I understand, will show on the character. I have been told by multiple people now that the belt thing is a bug and that the belt's not meant to be showing there, or at least there should be an option to remove it. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if it's been 100% confirmed by Blizzard, but keep in mind that the belt and shoulders showing on the Drakthir model that I'm talking about right now in the video, it might not be final. 
I don't know what's gonna happen to that. I don't think anyone knows what's gonna happen to that. I guess we'll see. So if you were in a set of I'm, I'm just saying this, I know you can't because it's a male user, but Garrosh's shoulder pads, right? They would show on your drag fear. The chest armor, the legs, the boots, the gloves, everything else, it won't show. The shoulder pads will show and the gloves will show. Uh, sorry, and the belt will show, nothing else, right? But then you'll also have all of this. And this stuff you can't unequip. So it's not actually an item that's on your character. This you will remove at the barber shop. So I guess that counts as unequipping it, but it's not an item that you're putting on. You don't get a physical item called a crown, or a visor, or a galia, or a shako, right? So the armor system, it's a different system than what they've used from what they've used before, but it seems to be pretty cool and flexible in its own way. Uh, and keep in mind that you will be able to change the color when we get down to the bottom here. So don't think that it, it looks, you know, gaudy as shit and it won't match the style that you went for. You can change the color. All right, so let's have a look at them all. Now that you know that, let's have a look at them all. And I guess you guys can let me know what you think. I think it's a cool system. And I think that the fact that you can change it after you've made your character makes it fine. I like this a lot. And, and the way you should also go about this is when you pick this one, for instance, and then you go through, there will always be another one that sort of works with this one. So for the shoulders, you can get the, the wing or this boulder, right? But then for the chest... As you go through here, and as you pick these, you will find that certain pieces work with certain other pieces. Uh, now here you can actually put on spikes. If I take the shoulder off, you can see there. So as you go through here, I'm guessing this is probably the one that suits that. Or maybe... Yeah, yeah. I'm guessing this is the one that suits that headpiece that we've got on there. But basically, there will always be a, like, a couple of pieces that fit together to make a complete set. And I think that... Given the way they've made this, there's a good chance that they could add to this in the future, either via achievements that you could maybe complete. And this is what I'd like to see personally. I know this is not in the game right now, but I'd like to see something like, let's say, the Mage Tower, where you could prove your worth as an evoker, and then they could let you unlock like a cool looking set, like a special set that only you have, you know, because you've proven your worth. You've shown that you are cut above the rest. That would be cool. And then you can go equip that at the barber shop. It would be nice if they let you unlock more of these. I know that might be a bit of a pipe dream, you know, I might be talking about something that will never exist, but I'd like to see that. So you can make it sort of more bulky and 3D by adding this on there. Upper arms. It's kind of cool. There's some wings there. And then there's the uh, rear braces. Forearms. There's quite a lot of stuff on the forearms because you actually get to customize uh, the, the, well, the drag there itself. That's kind of cool. And this is like covering everything. You've got like bits and pieces of armor across your nails, on your fingers here. That's that's probably the coolest one, right? Although this is probably the one that matches that. I think I'm going to go for this anyway because it looks fantastic. Now, we can change the color here. Again, I'm not sure why it was sorted in this way. I feel like the color should have been at the end because we still have to do the waist, the breech cloth, the thighs, and the feet. So I'm going to look at the colors after I do that. Let me show you quickly the belts. Unfortunately, you can't take that belt that's on there off right now. I'm not sure why. I don't know. Maybe it's like a collar to show that you're not wild and you're not going to attack anyone on sight. I don't get it, but uh, you have to have one. So if you want, you can choose like a traditional belt here like this and you could sort of have the lesser of the evils, but you know, uh, you need to have a belt on. So I'll take that one on for now. Uh, breech cloth. Mm, that's kind of cool. You can see here we've got traditional on most of them now. That's kind of cool. I like that one as well. The tacits are nice. Yeah, this is fine. We'll go for this. Feet. Ooh, that is sick. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go for the, we'll go for the talents. Then wing decorations. That's obviously super cool. You get some rings. I'll take the talents. Then you can do the armor style. And that... Basically, what this does is it changes it from scales to to chain. I'm not sure why they didn't just say that there. Uh, I'm not sure it's exactly doing that. Because, like, at the back here, if you look at this, for instance, 
yeah, it makes it sort of into cloth. I suppose that's you making it more into like a caster variation and then like a DPS variation. I don't know what you'd sort of call this, but what I can see is that it's changing from chain to scale. So I like the chain more. I think it looks better. And I like the hood, uh, this darker color. So we'll go with that. Then, as I mentioned before, the tail options are here at the end. So now we're going to go back and we look at the colors. Now you can actually change the entire look and feel of the set and you can make it your own, you know? See, this, for instance, looks way better on my Frost Dragon. Or the darker ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when you have this warm color like this, the, <laughs> the red and gold, then it, it clashes entirely with the blue, you know? So you don't want that. You'd rather want these colors, you know, the colder colors. They've got a set for everyone here. You know, they've got a bit of everything. Uh, they got the dark ones. They got the light ones. It's kind of cool. Personally, not a massive fan of the armor. Uh, I, I really do appreciate the fact that they added it because more options, always better. However, again, I, I think that if I was going to make a Drakthir, the chances are I would sort of be more keen on, on going for a slightly more i'm not going to say feral looking one but like uh, uh, one that looks a little bit more like a dragon i mean i might if i'm feeling like it throw in like a the the, the feet bits and pieces maybe the the wing talons are kind of cool you know uh you know you can you can sort of mix and match a few pieces like this for instance is nice just like this just like this and then you can and you can change the color on it and and sort of you know make it look cool and that's that's nice because that sort of accentuates what you've got there right now it sort of adds to it instead of covering it all up and that's fantastic but i'm not a huge fan of just like throwing an entire armor suit on you that's stuck to your character but again you don't see your regular armor on the drag theory form so i guess it's fine right now what we're going to do is we're going to randomize a bunch because there's a lot to see here and you know it, it's nice to basically just see how the combinations come together i'm going to randomize a bunch zoomed out and then we'll do the same zoomed in right you will notice that for the most part here you will not have the armor being equipped so the armor bits and pieces they are not being touched in this randomization so it's it's keeping the the belt on and that's about it right you just get in the dragon customize you do the armor yourself afterwards that's it look at that Jeez, man. And again, in just a moment, I'm going to zoom in all the way. And I'm going to have a look at the face. And you're going to see that there's actually quite a lot that changes on the face. Oh, that is slick. Look at that. That's kind of scary, right? And like, this makes me want to immediately just go in, take the horns off entirely. Look at that. No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. This is actually a pretty terrifying look. Look at that. Man. I love it. I love it. Ooh. Actually looks like something one would see in like a Harry Potter movie. <laughs> Maybe one of the Fantastic Beasts movies. Uh, wasn't there like a weird sort of scary looking griffin or something in there that looked kind of like that? Look at these colors. That's amazing. Oof. Yeah, something about that overbite one really works for me here's another slick looking one i really like it i don't know if i'm in the minority where this is concerned i would love it if you guys could leave comments and tell me that i'm not in the minority where this is concerned where i think that this is just really some of the best stuff that they've ever done okay let's look at the faces i really appreciate it like look at that i'm a member of the bronze dragon flight Mmm. I mean, look at this here. That's perfect. Man, the maroon, then the lighter, creamy color on the chest, and then the blue horns. It pops beautifully. Damn. Yeah, so, like, if you're going to jump in here, oof, good luck. Good luck. And I'm saying that now, having only showed you the Drakthir form. I'm going to show you the visage form soon, and you're going to be in trouble, I'm sorry to say. You're going to be in trouble. Fantastic. I love it. I love it. I absolutely love it. Now, we're going to jump in to the visage form. 
for the males first. I'm going to say to you, this is based on the male Blood Elf body. I do think that they've sort of honed it a little more. They've sort of worked on it, touched it up, made it look a little better. Uh, you'll see when I take this guy's shirt off that he's, well, <laughs> he's looking fine. He's looking fine. It's great. It looks amazing. And I love it. Okay, so I'm also going to mention here that the visage form, and I mentioned this earlier, but some people might be skipping here with a timestamp. The visage form is something that you can use all the time for cosmetic purposes, but when you jump into combat, certain abilities will need you to be into the dra in the dragon form. So if you do like a, a sword through the air with a fiery breath attack, you can't do that as a human, as this form here, right? You can't do it like that. You have to be in the dragon form. So then it'll switch you automatically to your dragon form. You'll do that ability. And then after combat ends, you'll pop back into your visage form. So it's your choice how you handle it. But a lot of the attacks need you to be a dragon. It's like, as an example, the tail attack couldn't be used if you were in humanoid form. Because there's no tail. You know? Keep that in mind as we go through here. It's very important the way you customize the visage form. But it's also important having a good looking dragon form. Because you can't spend all your time in just one or the other. There you go. I've said my piece. Let's jump in. Now, I want to firstly just show you guys how busy this is. <laughs> There's so much going on here, and I love it. Okay? I also want to say that there are lots of bits and pieces here. Okay? And they sort of obstruct your view of pretty much everything that's going on. Uh, I, I can try to take some of it off quickly, right? But some of it is stuck. So your face changes here, you'll see uh, the, the stuff on your face is, is sort of stuck there. Uh, there are a few things you can change, right? So if I take that off, uh, the scale pattern, you can change that, but you can't take these all off, right? There's, there's always going to be something on your face. You can change the color of it, right? But there's always going to be something on your face. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind as we go through here. Now, I did take the horns off. I'm going to put the horns back on just so you can see the hairstyles with the horns attached as well. First things first, however, the skin. You can change your skin color. They have fantastic skin colors here with awesome shading. Uh, you can see that they've definitely worked on the shading compared to, as an example, the Blood Elves in the game right now. I feel like they've improved it quite a lot. But they are mostly human-ish skin tones. Like, you don't have no pure green skins you don't have blue skins here nothing like that but you can be pale you can be dark and that's great faces also a little different than the blood elf ones where you got some sort of happier looking faces sterner looking faces older looking faces younger looking faces bigger faces smaller faces all the faces all right decent selection but nothing too crazy like i i wasn't too impressed by the by the faces right Hair. You can go hairless, so you can show your scales off, and I think that that's kind of fantastic. Would work well with that uh, idea I was throwing around of the hornless dragon that looks like a snake. You could make your character look like a snake too, eh? But, then you'd be missing out on this. Now, the way I'm going to do the hair is I'm actually going to select a dark primary color, and I'm going to select a highlight that's kind of bright. So, we'll go with a blue. There you go. And I'm going to do this just so you can see where the highlight is on the hairstyles, so you have a better idea of how it works. This one's called Super Scion. <laughs> Fantastic. Prince. Untamed. Sideswept. It's like Doctor Who, right? Short locks. Mohawk. Quiff. Spiky. Tussled. Knot. Tied back. Top knot. You'll notice I'm going through here pretty quickly. There's a reason for that. And the reason is that we're going to go through it again with a decoration on. Dreadlocks. Nomad. Main. That's massive, dude. Braided. That's kind of nice. Wavy. The ponytail. Short hair. And that's it. Now we're going back to the start. I'm going to put the decoration on. And you're going to see... It changes it, not entirely, but, but quite drastically. I'll keep the highlight off because we just looked at the highlight already. You can see all these extra bits and pieces now are the decoration. And there's a lot. On some of them, there's a lot.
Check it out. It's cool. I feel like they spent so much time on this. Like, it's just crazy to me how much effort the... I suppose it's the art and the modeling team and those guys. They spent... I would love to just know who it was who did this. Who's responsible for this? Give me a name. I want to send them a fruit basket or something. Because <laughs> this is... It actually just makes me happy. It's amazing. Like, the more you see stuff like this in video games, the more you're going to see stuff like this in video games. You know? I like that. So there you go. Now you know what the decorations look like too. Let's put some hair on so we don't look totally weird. Uh, let's go with warlocks. That's kind of nice. And I'll leave the, the highlights out for now. I guess we can look at the highlight colors and the, the hair colors first. I, <laughs> I'm so eager to move on. <laughs> okay, hold on. Take the horns off quickly. And uh, let's look at the hair colors. I'm so eager because this is fantastic, by the way. The hair colors, again, they managed to choose these colors that are so complementary to the whole idea of dragons and the dragon flights that they just work. And, and they naturally just slot themselves into any of these dragon flights or any of these ideas, these wild ideas you could have for what kind of dragon you want to make. It's amazing. They're so bright and vibrant and full of life or death, you know? I really dig it. And you will really see how much this comes into play. The color, the vibrancy, the colorful nature and busy nature of the, the faces and design of the visage form here. As you start looking at the randomization, uh, this is amazing. Look how nice it gels with this uh, the scale color. And again, the scale color, we're going to change that. Uh, we just haven't gotten to it yet. So. so a lot of these might look a little off right now because once again... You need to check every single option combined with every single other option to get the big picture, to get the, the full run of what's available. It, it is honestly just super impressive to me. So we can look at the hair highlights quickly now. Different colors from the primaries. Uh, less bright colors, but, but enough for sure. I mean, as far as highlights go, it's kind of perfect, right? Okay, mustache. The facial hair game here is not all that strong. I, I did actually look at this before. I was looking if I needed to get excited about this. Nah, not really, not really. The mustache is okay, and it, it sort of gels nicely with the beards that you can choose here. Uh, it looks all right. You know, as an example, this one looks kind of cool. Uh, it's fine, it's fine. The beards are fine, but I wouldn't write home about this. Okay? It's it's not the kind of thing that I would like, you know, put on the back of the box or anything like that. <laughs> that that comes together if you want to make yourself into a Stephen Strange dragon, you know? Cool, cool, cool. Let's go for this one. Uh, because we'll get to see the colors changing soon anyway. Horns. Let's go for it. So a lot of these horns, you will notice, are going to be sort of similar to the ones that we saw in the Drakthir form. And that's on purpose. Because <laughs> they're meant to be the same. Uh, you know, you are the same person, I want to say. You're the same entity. You know, when you're in the visage form, you are still the dragon. You're just in your humanoid form, in your visage form. Uh, so you can pick the same horns to sort of, you know, mix and match and, and and stand out as yourself when you're in the human form. Here's the broken one as well that I like so much. It makes sense, basically. Now, it's just another layer on top of how long it's going to take you to try and figure all of this out. Uh, I, I, I wish you luck, because it's going to be a tough one. Like, good luck trying to basically make this form fit perfectly with that form. It's it's a job. Let me just say it's a job. Horn colors. Amazing. I think I'll go for the dark one. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Horn jewelry. You get to do the horn jewelry color of the... Yeah, there doesn't seem to be a jewelry color option. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, so the options are a little messed up here. So, along with the earrings, you'll get to change the jewelry color. I'll leave the horn jewelry on for now and see if it changes the color when we get there. Scale pattern. 
This is kind of an important part because it's a big deal. I like it. I, I mean, I actually really like this one. I feel like when you have it off, he has a bit of a butt face. And I want to kind of get rid of that, so we will put it on. Uh, I like this one a lot, uh, but this one is more interesting, you know? This one's more interesting. So the markings, none, myth, wrath. Um, let's go full. Let's go wrath. Scale color. This actually changes on the whole body, as you can see. And speaking of the whole body... I want to, yeah, okay, look, we can look at it at the end. I wanted, I wanted to remove the armor quickly so you could see where the scales are, but it doesn't really change anything. You'll see where the scales are when we get there. So, we're looking at the colors. Super bright once again. You can do so much with this. And keep in mind that there is going to be a contrast here. Check that out. Isn't that a fantastic look? If you go for the darkest skin color with the lightest scales, or the lightest scales with the darkest skin color. I just, <laughs> I just said that. <laughs> All the darker scales with the lighter skin color is what I meant to say. Good lord. This guy's been in the character creator for too long. But there again, you get like the, the deep sea ocean dragon vibe from this. The up in the clouds frost dragon vibes. The cosmic arcane dragon vibes. You know, it's fantastic. It's so cool. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's really nice. Evidently, you can put eyebrows on your visage form. Didn't realize it because when you put the scale pattern on, then the option disappears. But you get to choose between thin, medium, and thick eyebrows. And obviously, if you take all the stuff off the face, you can see them better. It makes sense that the option's there. I just sort of lost it while I was busy customizing because, again, once you turn the pattern on, that disappears. And then, well, yeah. So, know that there are eyebrows, male and female, it's there. They work. They are an option that you can choose. Carry on. Moving on. Headdress. Not a lot of choices here, but, you know, if you want to throw some stuff on there, you can. You can also do the eyesight, much like you can on the Drakthir form. Uh, you can have them clouded over or not. Eye color. Slightly less impactful than the Drakthir form's eye color, but still the same options here, so you can mix and match. Or you can throw them on the same option so that when you go between the forms, your character looks like it is persisting, if you know what I'm saying. I'm going to take the dark eyes here. Ears. Short, medium, and long. Earrings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Those are cool. I kind of like the stakes. I'm going I'm to take this so I can see if the, the color changes. And then this is one of my favorite options. You get to change your nose. And the option that you have here is to choose whether, as a child, you ran into the sliding door or not. <laughs> That's basically it. <laughs> That's the choice that you have. Oh my god. I'm not sure why this was added. But there it is. There it is. It's... Peculiar edition. Right. So we're not going to leave that on, needless to say. Jewelry color. Oh, it does change. Fantastic. Awesome. Amazing. I like it when you make it that bright color. But like at the same time... Mm, yeah, this darker one looks nice too, huh? But for the, for the look that I'm going with here, I'd say none is better. And by the way, that also changes the rings in the hair and stuff like that. In just in case you were wondering. Next up. Here we go. You get to equip the chest strap or not. I'm not entirely sure what that is law-wise. Underclothes top. You can take it off. Put it on. Take it off. Put it on. That's it. I recommend keeping it off because why would you not want to show this off? Then you get to wear those or those. Which is great. It's underpants or... or Briefs, I think they're called. I, I don't know the... I'm sorry, I don't know the naming convention. Underclothes color. You know what? They all look okay, but this one looks the richest. So, yeah, we're going to go with that. Uh, body scales. You once again sort of get to mix and match them, uh, and you get to choose how much. 
if any you have. I don't know, man. I feel like if you're going to play the dragon race, you should just go all in on it and put the scales everywhere. Uh, you don't have to go for the tiger stripe scales. You know, you can go for the other ones like these because they might look slightly better to you. But hey, if you're going to do it, I'd say do it. But there you go. That's it. Uh, lots of options on the visage form for male. And now we're going to look at randomize. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and we're going to check it out from here. And you're going to see... <laughs> oh my god, look at that. That's amazing. Hell yes. You're going to see all the... I can't, I can't. I have to stop. I'm not going to zoom in until, unless it's like, oh, geez, that does look good. Let's look at it like this. Because I want to see the, the big picture first. And then I'll zoom in on the face and we'll look up close. See all the different colors here. Like, with the little bit that I customized and all the, like, options that I went through, I barely scratched the surface. Look at that. Look at that. Imagine you make, like, a cool white and brown bone dragon. And then this is your visage form. God, that's sick. Mmm. Yes. That's amazing. It's so cool. Yeah. Like, I've never really cared too much for the WoW customization compared to other games out there. But this is sort of pushing it over the edge for me in so many ways. Just because, again, there's so much that you can do with it. There are so many different styles that you could cook up here. And I feel like when you combine the face type, like your, your actual face choice here, with all the different options, it sort of brings out the personality of the chosen face so much more. Look at that. Look at the colors. Yeah, I'm thoroughly impressed. Once again. Who'd have thought? <laughs> I'm, I'm more impressed by how cool and colorful and fun these visage forms look more so than the drakthir form but for real like the drakthir form is also really fantastic it's just like there's so much going on here look at this oh okay so that's your randomization for male we're going to jump into the female visage forms now as i mentioned as i mentioned the two are the same so you know i can switch between these and the drag theory form stays the same so we're going to customize the female visage form that's the female humanoid form but know that your drag theory form the options are all the same i did that at the start of the video if you want to check that out the options are all the same on male and female there's nothing different whatsoever this however is super different now i mentioned that the male Visage form was based on the male blood elf. This one, you can see if you zoom out a little bit, is based on the human female. That's the choice they went with for this. Okay. So we're going to start. I'm going to go to the bare minimum of the stuff that we have on here. I'm just going to check quickly if there's anything that I could take off. So that you can sort of see what we're working with as a base. I'll take the headdress off as well. There we go. That's perfect. Just know that the bits and pieces of the scale on the face here, a lot of it is, is stuck. You can't actually remove that. Uh, you can't actually take that off. But let's start. We're going to do skin color first. I'm a big fan of the shading. I mentioned this on the male side of things. I feel like they've improved the shading of the models quite a lot. Uh, you know, the skin tones that they used are, are much the same, but the shading just looks so much better and i'm not sure if it's engine upgrades that they did but like certain faces like this one for instance just it has so much going on on here the the like finer details are are, are just really looking good so you can go dark you can go light faces look at that oh <laughs> yeah man it's like the makeup choices. Oh, that's cute. That's basically dragon freckles. Okay. Well, I've decided. That's the face I'm going with. Isn't that amazing? Dragon freckles. Hell yes. <laughs> I love it. Okay. You can go hairless. I mentioned while making the Drakthir model that uh, it would look kind of cool if you could, if you could sort of 
you know, mirror what you've done on your drag deer form on your on your visage form, in that you could make a drag deer without horns, with no spikes or anything, just smooth back like a snake, then you could do the same one here. But let's look at this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this a dark color and I'm gonna make the highlights a lighter color, and then you can see where the highlight location is as we go through. So keep in mind you can change the highlight color. Wavy here, pixie cut. Untamed. A full tail. Yeah, I mean, that is pretty full. Bob. I'm a little saddened that the males and females don't share all the styles. Because, like, a lot of these would look kind of cool on the male, you know? And a lot of the male ones would look kind of cool on the female as well. But, hey, whatever. You know, you have to have a reason to go one over the other, right? And it's not male and female anymore. Sorry, it's body type 1 and body type 2. So... Yeah, I mean, I guess that sort of, that actually sort of explains it, doesn't it? Very nice. These are beautiful. Undercut. See, the males don't get that, do they? Ornate. And that's actually super ornate without even having the decorations in. Oh my god, look at that. Okay, we'll get to that. <laughs> we'll get to that. Uh, I'm actually going to go through the hairstyles again uh, with the decorations on. You'll, you'll see. Twin buns. Okay, so I'm going to go to the start again, we're going to put the decoration on, and you're going to be able to see what it looks like. So it's just got a bunch extra in the hair now. So every little bit and piece that you see extra there, that's the decoration. Uh, you can have that on, you can turn it off, it's up to you. The nice thing is that you can change this all at the barber shop. I mean, you're going to probably end up spending a whole lot of gold at the barber shop, but hey, you know, that's on you. That's a choice that you're going to make. Is it going to be worth it? Absolutely. 100% it'll be worth it. Mmm. That looks really nice combined with the scaly head. Scaly head. Those aren't two words that you actually want combined. You don't want to use that in a sentence. <laughs> that doesn't bode well for the conversation being had. This is nice. This is nice. Okay. So that's it. Uh, let's throw... It doesn't really matter. Let's go with something that doesn't cover the face. So, let's go for... Yeah, sure. Thick braid. Uh, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Hair color. Oh, no, wait. If we're doing hair color, then let's go with a big hair, like this one. So, first things first, we'll do the hair color, then we'll do the highlight color afterwards. Uh, so, we'll just look at what the, the color itself looks like here. I mentioned on the male side of things that... I'm a massive fan of the colors that they give you here because they give you so many and they all just work so well with the different dragon flights. Uh, they all have such high impact, you know? Look at that. Look at that. And when we start randomizing here, uh, when we're done looking at all these options, you'll see what I mean by how much it actually shapes and changes the way that your character can look. Uh, you know, you, you think to yourself, oh man, you know, you can't really do much cool stuff with brown hair. But look when you combine that with a certain skin color or skin tone and then a certain color of scale and, and then some of the jewelry and stuff like that. You put all those things together in the right way and you just get yourself like a recipe for absolute success. It's amazing. Like, oh, look at that color, man. Look at these. Look at these. Look at the greens. Oh, it's great. It's great. Okay. Highlights. The highlight colors are not as plentiful, but there are still some decent colors here. And I think that they give you more than enough to work with. Cool. Cool. Eyesight. You get to do the same as in the Drac Theorem mode, where you can choose to have clouded eyes. One side, other side, both sides. Eye colors. They look okay. They look okay. I would have liked to have had a bit of control over the pupils as well, like we did on the Drakthir model, but this is fine. This is more than good enough. I... <laughs> okay, let's go for red this time. I Last time I went for those black eyes, but let's go for red this time. Next up, horns. This actually also changes the way the character looks quite a lot. You know, it's like you sometimes, I guess, want to see the horns on when you're looking at all the different hairstyles. So, like, it's going to be difficult to pick what you actually want to go for. Because there's a good chance you're going to want to look at every single option combined with every single other option. And then, 
yeah. As was said before, you can end up spending about a million years in character creation. Welcome to my life. Let's not even get started on the name selection. So there's a lot of cool horns. Let's take the swept ones for now and let's look at the colors. I think these ones are directly mirroring basically what we saw on the Drakthira forms. And again, that makes perfect sense because they want you to be able to make your character in both forms. Oh, I like the dark horns. I really like the dark horns. Horn jewelry. These are mostly the same. So if you like go through the horns with these, you'll see that it looks the same on all of them. It's just sort of in different positions, right? It's basically the way it looks. And then the color of this, I'll leave it on for now so you can see. Because when we get to the next page, we can change the jewelry color. The color of this can be changed as well. Scale pattern. This is also pretty impactful, and it seems like it's much the same as the male side of things. I mean, it looks a little different. The presentation isn't exactly the same, but it's much the same. I always feel like if you're going to go for a dragon, go for a dragon. You know, put it on. But uh, for the purposes of the video right now, I'll keep it off for just a moment still, so we can look at all the other stuff. Oh, well, we're going to look at the scale colors, so let's put it on. Let's go for that one. Right, let's see. Okay, so there's actually just two here. It's Myth and Wrath. And then you get to choose these. And then at the bottom here, you get to choose the color. This is probably one of the colors, the options they should have put right at the start, just because it's very impactful. So it, it also changes the color of these, by the way. So, scale color. Like, this is the entire look and feel of your character, actually. This should have been right after skin color. They should let you do skin color, then scale color. It does feel like the options are, are slightly randomly thrown together here. Uh, I'm going to go with the darker one, again, to match the horns, I suppose. And then we'll go for this one as well. Okay, one final interruption. This one, to show you that there are, in fact, eyebrows. So, I didn't realize this because... When you throw a scale pattern on, then it removes the option entirely. So, basically, when you have the scale pattern on, it overrides the eyebrows, and you don't actually see the option for it there. But, if you take the scale pattern off completely, you get to pick between thin, medium, and thick eyebrows. And this matches, obviously, your hair color. You can also do this, obviously, on male and female. But it is an option. And it's, it's there, it's just sort of hidden half the time when you put the scale pattern on, and it's just something worth knowing. If I jump onto the male, I will show you it's exactly the same situation. If you go in there to the face options, then with the scale pattern off, you've got the eyebrow choices, and once you turn that on, boom, it's gone. Just note that there are eyebrows, and Lumen from the past missed them. There you go. Carry on. Next up, Hedris. Not a super exciting section to look at, but hey, there's some stuff here. Uh, this also changes with the jewelry color, by the way. Ears. You can have long, medium, or short. Earrings. Also changes with the jewelry color, by the way. The hair is kind of covering it. Let's just change the hair away quickly. There you go. I'm not usually a big fan of like earrings or, or anything like jewelry in my MMO games, but I know some people like them. I mean, and there's a lot of cool ones. There's again this nose option over here, and I'm not entirely sure. The female one looks a little better to me uh, than the male one. I mentioned that the male one just looked like someone ran into a, a, a sliding door, you know, and they couldn't afford the plastic surgery. This one, it, to me, makes a bit more sense. It actually looks like, you know, it's sort of more dragon i suppose it's sort of more of a dragon snoot whereas this is more of a humanoid one and i get it i think it looks kind of cool like this uh, but the male one did not <laughs> um and then chin you get to choose to have the scales there or not much like on the male you can choose your beard we'll put it there for now again we make it a dragon so then necklace males do not get a necklace for whatever reason and then finally your jewelry color this changes everything again like i said the the, the necklace will change as well 
it's all right there are some decent colors there you can also try and sort of make this fit with the drag theater stuff that you picked finally underclothes top yeah there are some decent options here as you can see <laughs> not bad it's way more interesting i think than maybe some of the other races had uh, underclothes bottom i think it's just the two yeah the bikini or the pants uh, colors there you go and then body scales none or you can go hard i don't know I will say again, I feel like if you're going to make a dragon character, just go dragon. Just go dragon. And that brings us to the end. That means that we're actually going to randomize now. I wonder if I can randomize here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this actually makes more sense than going over here because then you can actually see the whole body. I like it. I'm going to randomize a few times here so you can just see how the different scale colors and the different skin colors actually combine to make the characters look interesting. But when you zoom in, Oh, look at that, dude. Look at how many different colors are present. The different hair highlights, these bright blue eyes, the sea green. Oh, oh, man. Imagine that. Have like a bone dragon on your drag deer form, and then you come into your humanoid form and you look like this. Nah, dude, this is amazing. This really is some of the coolest customization. I'm, I'm sorry, I've been saying that a lot while recording this but it's just because i really think it looks fantastic it it just it comes together so nicely it, it's basically the situation where you have so many different options that you feel on their own it's just too much it's too much clutter but then when you actually throw them all together on the canvas and you get something like this presented to you it shines in the best possible way and again, when you actually combine all these different bits and pieces, you get a whole look. You get a different feel on the character. Yeah, man. Oof. I think it's great. Look at that. Look at that. That's not something you'd expect. I'm such a massive fan. I, 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 could, I could go on about this for so long. <laughs> I could sit here all night customizing these characters. And I would not get bored. Look at this. Isn't that amazing? And it's got the, the stump snoot. Oof. I love it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to bring me to the end of the video. And I would love to hear from you. I would love to hear from you what you think about the Drac Fear, about the Evoker class about the visage form about the fact that the male and females have the same customization options on drag fear and then i think most importantly about the customization on this i'd love to hear what you guys think are you going to be jumping into dragonflight are you going to be playing one of these if you do i mean i think if i do play dragonflight it would be a waste not playing one of these wouldn't it they look so cool i don't know if they're going to be as fun when you actually play them but they look so cool so I'll leave you guys with those questions. Please, leave a comment. Be part of the conversation. Be part of this video. You can actually contribute, you know? You can tell people your experiences with making the character of your dreams in... Perhaps you played in the Dragonflight Alpha or Beta or did some of the testing that they, uh, that they put out there. Or, you know, maybe you've got a plan for what you want to do when launch comes around. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Give this video a like and share it and do all that other good stuff. I always appreciate it. And check back here soon for more. If you're jumping into Dragonflight, I hope you enjoy it. Happy that. <laughs>